So let's go through some AI converted images from the original Might and Magic 8. And uh, what I've done is basically just, uh, you know, told a generative AI model to, you know, maintain 80% of the original image and then do its own take on it in a higher quality or, you know, a reimagined way. And you can see it's pretty cool. It's capturing the user interface okay. And, uh, you know, the faces aren't right. And, you know, maybe this is more cartoonish than we want, but it's not terrible. And uh, what's coming soon is the ability to do this in real time. It's going to be pretty wild. And uh, I'm amazed that it was able to even capture what's going on here at all. You would think if you were to feed this into a um, generative AI, it would just come up with some sort of abstract mixture. But this kind of almost looks like the original scene. And I don't know what this thing is, but... Uh, you know, it's not, I don't think it's doing a, too bad of a job. I think it, I tried it with Archimage. I think it made Archimage worse. And, uh, but I didn't try to mess around with it for too long. You know, I could have probably come up with a better render, but you know, a lot of these are just original artwork. And so it makes sense. Uh, Dagger Wound Islands, okay. Not that good, but something. Uh, the spell book. I thought it's pretty cool. It doesn't match the aesthetic of the game, but, you know, it looks like something that could be in a video game. Uh, like a video game from 2024. One thing it did cool with the inventory is... Uh, in the original Might and Magic games, uh, you put on the pieces on the character and none of them match. And this kind of did a decent job at that. Um, kind of had uh, an aesthetic that um, melds the pieces into the character. And of course, AI is gonna be good at something like that. Now, it's getting a lot of these wrong, like the shield looks more like a cloak. And what is this item? It's like a quest item that it turns into like a sort of skirt kilt looking thing. So it doesn't know what's going on in a lot of this, but the inventory is not too bad. Once again, a little cartoonish. Uh, the problem with the original map was the low resolution. I remember as a kid, I didn't wasn't crazy about the map, and uh, these renders aren't much better. And uh, once again, for s some places, it it uh, creates a nice three D render. Other ones, it has kind of this cartoonish aesthetic. Aesthetic, so I would feel. Like, this would be weird to play a game with an aesthetic like this. Uh, the Regnant Pirates. This looks okay. The bodies are deformed, but... Um, it's cool that it's able to create this blur effect. This is Dagger Wound Island again. A definitely better render than the city, though the pirates are facing, facing the wrong way. I think Raven Shore is the best render. I tried to get all of the images to have this same level of quality, but uh, you know, I might have been able to if I spent more time on it. But this is great. Like, imagine being able to play through the whole game with this level of quality. And uh, you know, the, the UI doesn't fit, but the world looks good. And it's capturing whatever I was, <clears throat> you know, whatever Ravenshore is supposed to be <clears throat> feeling like. The Temple of the Moon, Temple of the Sun, looks okay. And I think the Wolf Render is not so bad. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the AI, but just uh, kind of cool to see where we're at. 